Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hello, this is Danny Johnson from FlippingJunkie.com. I'll be your host of the REI Classroom today, where we're going to talk about why you might be throwing away half of the deals you could be getting and of course what to do to fix it. If you're an active real estate investor already doing deals and looking to double or triple your business, you should consider joining the Investor Fuel Real Estate Investor Mastermind. We're a small group of investors that share our best practices, tips, and tricks with one another in an effort to all win. We limit our membership to only one to two members per market so everyone shares their knowledge, tips, and tricks openly and honestly. Our members include some buying one to two houses a month, up to some of the most respected investors and leaders in the real estate investing industry, some of which have personally done over a thousand deals. If you'd like to be considered for our invitation-only world-class mastermind, please visit InvestorFuel.com to request your personal invitation. Our next meeting is coming up quickly. Go to InvestorFuel.com now to learn more. So, You've probably heard this and maybe read into it a little bit, but it's going to be follow-up. So, so many people, investors, drop the ball with these leads because they're always just focused on getting more calls and not worrying about or, or taking advantage of the ones that they've already received. So, here's, here's a couple typical scenarios. So, one scenario is that an investor will get a lead. They'll then talk to the seller and find out that they're not motivated or they don't seem motivated and what happens is they never talk to them again. And the second scenario is they get a lead, talk to the seller, they might be motivated, you see the house and make an offer that gets rejected and then they never talk to them again. In all of these scenarios, you know, you've just got to follow up with anybody that calls you unless there's some situation where, you know, it's just a, a no-brainer that these people will never ever want to sell to you. Like for instance, if, if you send some direct mail and they call you and tell you they want to kill you because you sent them a postcard, you probably don't want to follow up with them. But maybe you do. I don't know. But um, so you got to follow up. So how can you follow up? Because a lot of systems that I've seen investors have are, are pretty inefficient. And by systems, I mean a notebook that's full of scribbles and stuff for the leads that they get. And it's not very good. So anyway, you can do a spreadsheet even. Google Sheets, Excel spreadsheet or something just to put these leads in because you need to keep track of them and uh, follow up with them. And so one way of doing that is a Google Calendar and those Google Calendars are online and free and you can use them on most mobile devices. They, they can integrate with that so you can set up notifications onto your phone which is like a text message and then also have email alerts for when to follow up with these leads. And it's a it's a free rudimentary system to do that, but um, it's it's one way of doing it. Another way is using a mail service like an email uh, autoresponder type service like Mailchimp or Aweber or GetResponse. Mailchimp has a free account that you can use. So if you want to keep it on the cheap free side, you can use one of their accounts and add people's email addresses uh, to them and, and set up autoresponder messages to people. Um, and that allows you to do follow up very consistently because the system is always doing that. And the only downside is, is is there's not a good way to easily remove them from the list and you could really piss some people off. So make sure that you um, consider that when you use a system like that. But um, we use our REI mobile system to schedule follow up reminders uh, for my acquisitions guy to follow up consistently. And so when he adds it to the lead in the system, it then he sets a date for it and he'll get notified of that follow-up with the information from the lead and so that way whenever he contacts them he has all the information about the lead in one place so he can make that call with confidence that he knows what's going on and where we're at with the lead and it really helps with conversion rate and um, and continuing the conversation from their point of view because if they talk with you and you call them and they don't know who you are you kinda need to have a reference and a way to communicate and connect with them again because it's all about uh, rapport and, and how you um, deal with, with sellers. But um, So having that system is, is a great thing. And one thing that we just released as a beta feature is the ability to have automated text and email sequences built out. So this is something where you can send, you can set up a sequence and multiple sequences really because you have different levels of motivation 
or different situations where you might have made an offer to to one seller and you didn't make another an offer to another seller or, or you never went to their house so there's different situations so you want to have different sequences that have different messages based on what's happened with the lead and what you can do is set up uh, through drag and drop basically text messages or email messages and any sequence you want with the days that they should go out and the times that they should go out um, one after the other and so it's automated and, and the thing is like you can set up the information within those texts and emails that are specific to that lead so the seller's name or their um, the address of the property they're selling stuff like that so it's very cool it's a great way to automate the messages and have them sent over time and, and use text and email and uh, like I said you can do some of that uh, with the autoresponders through some of the mail services like MailChimp and we allow the setting up of text and all that kind of stuff through there. So it's a great way to consistently follow up. And as you get more and more leads, you know, if you're not doing a whole lot of leads, really just having the Google Calendar with alerts to remind you to call them is typically the best because you're actually talking to them. And um, as you get more and more leads that you're going to follow up, because you really should follow up with almost every single lead that you get over time because time motivates people, has a way of having people become ready to sell to you at the lower price. And so after you're starting to get um, a certain number of leads, you're going to get overwhelmed with making those calls and you're not going to make them anymore and you're going to drop the ball. So setting up some automated systems or having another person in your office hiring somebody, bringing somebody on to set up these uh, uh, follow-ups and then making that contact is going to be a, a great way to... Uh, you know, land more deals out of leads that you're already getting. So, so many people, like I said, are focused on just increasing the number of leads to get more deals instead of focusing even more on each one that they get. So, as you get more leads, you're going to get more deals. And then once you start working on getting even more leads, those automated follow-up systems are going to help you convert even more of the ones that you already got. And you're just going to have, you know, a much better year than you would without the follow-ups. If you're an active real estate investor already doing deals and looking to double or triple your business, you should consider joining the Investor Fuel Real Estate Investor Mastermind. We're a small group of investors that share our best practices, tips, and tricks with one another in an effort to all win. Real estate investing can be a lonely business for successful real estate investors, but it doesn't have to be. Investor Fuel members meet four times a year, but we talk to each other 365 days a year and we focus on improving the profitability of our businesses, improving the quality of our lives. That's why we do this, right? And making an impact on those around us so we can truly leave a legacy. We limit our membership to only one to two members per market, so everyone shares their knowledge, tips, and tricks openly and honestly. Our members include some buying one to two houses a month, up to some of the most respected investors and leaders in the real estate investing industry some of which have personally done over a thousand deals. If you'd like to be considered for our invitation-only world-class mastermind, please visit InvestorFuel.com to request your personal invitation. Our next meeting is coming up quickly. Go to InvestorFuel.com now to learn more. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of FlipNerd.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of FlipNerd.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows, where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at FlipNerd.com shows, or simply search for FlipNerd in the iTunes store.